On the 2nd of August 2012, Peter Wilson made history. He won Olympic gold at a home Olympics, something nobody in the clay shooting world has ever done. His achievements now include world record holder, world number one and Olympic gold medalist. There really is nothing more for Pete to achieve. Phil Scanlon, who was the British Shooting's team leader for London 2012, said of Peter, Peter has been a great ambassador for the sport of shooting. There probably is no better way to sum it up. Welcome to this week's programme. Last Friday, Peter Wilson, MBE, announced his retirement from competitive shooting. We took this opportunity to look back at his career to date and do a very special interview with his coach and manager, Ian Coley. Pete um, has announced his retirement. It must have been a tough decision for him. Very tough decision. I'd spoken to Pete quite a few times over the last six months and I sort of knew what um, was going on in, in the background, etc. It was a very, very tough decision and I can understand he's been thinking about it for a long time. But knowing Pete like, a, like I do, and I probably know him better than most people, I know what he has gone through in making this decision. I'm sure it's the right decision for Pete to actually make it, but Peter Wilson would not want to go to an Olympic Games without knowing in himself he was there to win and only win. So from Pete's side of things, I quite understand it. Um, he, he's a great ambassador, as we all know. He's done a lot for the sport, and I'm sure he's going to go on doing a lot more for the sport and I do know he's still going to be involved with it. But Pete was just such a, a wonderful person to be with most of the time. I do say most of the time we had a lot of fun and he was a great competitor. Just once or twice we had a few uh, bits of fun, of different issues. One thing I did find it difficult with him to get out of bed sometimes and a little sort of story there makes me smile quite a lot now. Remember one day we were, were in Cyprus, supposed to be ready for the bus and Pete was late as normal, <laughs> as most days, and I ran into the room and I said, come on Wilson, get out of bed, <laughs> or perhaps a little bit stronger than that, I actually grabbed the sheets on the bed, and I could see the look, look of horror on Pete's face, as he thought, thought I was actually going to pull the clothes off the bed, I didn't quite, I did reserve judgement on that, but he did get up a little bit better than that, um, but really Pete, at the Olympic Games last year, he was a totally motivated man, all the way through it and what he did before it in the sort of two years the run up and the work that he put into it and he did he deserved everything that he got and my side of things very emotional day even now i have a lump in my throat <coughs> as i sort of talk about it what a magical moment it was olympic gold medal here in london um wonderful for pete wonderful for shooting of course i've been very lucky as well with richard as well in sydney sort of seen two olympic gold medals both great competitors, both people have been good friends of mine as well. They've really helped me in my shooting, what shooting had brought to me. To both of them I say thank you very much and good luck. To Pete in his retirement, who knows what, what he might be. He, one day we might see him back in the shooting field. In terms of bringing clay shooting into the profile, Richard's gold in Sydney certainly was the start of that and then Pete's gold as well and certainly the recognition for Amber Hill for BBC's Young Sports Personality of the Year as well. Do you feel the sport is now getting more profile? I think it is. I think the sport is getting a lot more profile because these people have done it in the Olympic disciplines and the Olympic disciplines do get the recognition from the national press and the press throughout the, the world as well as the funding from the funding org organisations. So it is important that we go um, forward all the time with the Olympic discipline. And equally, the World Championships that George Digweed has, has won, Richard Folds has won, and all the news that we are seeing now, the fabulous results from the Commonwealth Games, that's all great for shooting, and shooting has got the recognition now as a medal-winning sport, and that's what we want shooting to be recognition of medal winning sport and that's what will take our, our sport forward and from all of those side of things we've got to need pushing shooting that it's a great sport that everybody can take part in from 12 to 84 um, that's a sport that we can and that's the great beauty of our sport but really when it comes to winning medals on the world circuit in all the various disciplines all those people should be congratulated 
and for what they do for the sport. In 2012, the month before Peter competed and won gold, we did a quick fire question session with Pete. Here are some of his answers. So your name please? Peter Wilson yep. uh, and I'm 25 years old. And the shotgun you use? I use a Parazzi MX2005. And your cartridges? I use RC4 Champion Excellence 9.5 and 7.5. And, and your favourite ground? Well, at the moment I'm at Ian Coley's, but I spend the majority of my training at Southern County, so I'd have to say Southern County's first. It's closely followed by Ian Coley's. Fabulous. And your best shooting moment to date? Well, I, I suppose I'd have to say it was when I broke the world record in Tucson, Arizona earlier this year. And who's your biggest influence? Uh, mixture. I've got two people uh, who have been who have had a massive inf impact in my shooting. Three, I probably should say. Can't forget Dad. Uh, no, Dad, obviously. <laughs> Nearly forgot him. Uh, and then uh, Ian Coley, of course. Without him, I wouldn't be shooting. And uh, and then lastly, Ahmed Al Maktoum. Okay. And then just some fun questions. Um, Food-wise, Indian or Chinese? Oh, that's a close one. Um, Chinese. Okay. And holiday, beach or mountains? Mountains. Sport, rugby or football? Rugby. Ladies, Kylie or Megan Fox? Megan Fox. <laughs> and if you weren't a shooter, what would you be? A cricketer. And last question, if you could invite four dinner guests, past or present, who would they be? Probably my grandfather on my dad's side. I'd never met him. Apparently he was a, he was a, he was a big shot. He, he, he loved his shooting. Never got a chance to actually meet him. Um, who else would I get? Four, okay. Um, have to have a couple of cricketers in there. I love cricket, so I'd have to have Andrew Strauss and Alistair Cook, uh, two really nice guys who I've had the pleasure of meeting a couple of times, and I'd love to have a chat about a few uh, a few things with them. That'd be good fun. And lastly, probably my dad, because he would love to meet his old man. <laughs> Excellent, brilliant. Thank you very much for that, Pete. Thank you. No problem. So, what next for Peter? Peter already has his fantastic eGamebook application, which is available for anybody who shoots game. It's well worth a look. He's still an ambassador for Holland and Holland, so certainly look out for him in the shooting field. And he's coach to junior GB shot James Dedman, something that Peter's really relishing at this time.